Water scarcity is a growing problem in cities all over the world, affecting billions of people. According to the UN World Water Development Report 2023, up to 3 billion people may face water shortages for at least one month per year, indicating a looming global water crisis. This problem is not just limited to the low-income countries, as even the high-income countries like the United States experience water stress due to the factors like outdated infrastructure and rapid population growth. In today's video, we'll discuss how the water crisis in Bengaluru has become a significant concern in India in recent years. Let's first examine the reasons behind the current crisis in Bengaluru. During the last monsoon season, Karnataka, the state where Bengaluru is located, received rainfall that was 18% below normal, the lowest since 2015. Like most other regions in India, Karnataka depends heavily on monsoon rains to fill reservoirs and recharge aquifers. A shortfall in the monsoon rainfall resulted in the water stress. South India, including Karnataka, has a unique aquifer system characterized by rocky terrain. These aquifers don't hold large amount of water and empty out quickly. However, they recharge relatively fast. Unlike aquifers in northern India, which have better water holding capacity, Karnataka's aquifers struggled during prolonged dry spells. Another reason being, in recent years, Bengaluru has experienced unusually hot February and March months. Human-induced climate change has contributed to altered weather patterns affecting rainfall distribution. Water levels are critically low, particularly in poorer areas, resulting in high cost and dwindling supplies. So addressing the water crisis in Bengaluru requires a collaborative effort and a combination of strategies. Let's explore some potential solutions here. Rainwater harvesting could have a significant impact on the freshwater needs of the city. By capturing the rainwater, Bengaluru can supplement its water supply during the monsoon season. However, there are several challenges to implementing it, including urban density and space constraints, lack of awareness and participation, seasonal variability, legal and regulatory hurdles, cost and affordability. Bengaluru's historical lakes, which were originally constructed for irrigation and livestock, have lost their significance due to the urbanization. Restoring and conserving these lakes can help recharge groundwater, regulate water flow, and mitigate flooding. Kaveri Phase 5 project, expected in June 2024, aims to provide water to over 100 villages around Bengaluru. Investing in water infrastructure development Maintenance and rehabilitation is essential for long-term water security. Lastly, the long-term planning requires sustainable urban development strategies, balancing the population growth, designing green cities with permeable surfaces, and conserving the environment to secure Bengaluru's water future. So these are a few sustainable practices that communities can adopt to mitigate the ongoing water crisis. But what can you and I do to help save our planet from ourselves? As individuals, we can reduce water usage by fixing leaks and using water-efficient appliances. It's important to educate ourselves about water scarcity and pollution and to support local water conservation programs. When we travel, we should be mindful of water use, especially in water-scarce regions. So to summarize, a combination of scientific research community engagement and sustainable practices can help mitigate the global water crisis.